Hello, everyone. My name is Cam Shaw. I am the program manager for the Associate Diploma in Turfgrass Management Program at the University of Guelph. Uh, I have been working in the turfgrass industry for over 22 years. So I have experience all across Canada. Uh, I've worked in the US and I've worked across the seas as well and across the UK, uh, Scotland and, and in Ireland. And I'm really looking forward to unveiling or lifting the veil on some of the mysteries about turf grass management and, and hopefully inspiring some of you to uh, consider uh, pursuing some studies here in that field at the university. So this is a question I get a lot when we uh, do some of our outreach projects with uh, turf grass and the question is what is turf grass management and so basically turf when we say the word turf we're actually referring to the grass plant and the soil together as a complex unit. And turf grass managers are the people that go out and manage that whole complex in, in that, li that living system of, of turf and soil together. And it's important for a lot of recreational activities like sports field management, golf course maintenance, recreational green spaces like parks maintenance and in municipal settings, resort or property management. You might have heard of some resort grounds teams, private green space management, which would be more like property landscaping, landscape design, as well as sod production, which is one of the very few aspects of turf grass management that is actually referred to as a form of agriculture, where we're actually harvesting the grass and, and selling it. Turf grass management as an industry generally is the maintaining of that healthy system so that it can uphold all the stresses that accompany the use parameters, which are the playing of sports. And we do this through a variety of different cultural practices like mowing frequency, uh, regular top dressing, which is the addition of soil material on top to create a level playing surface, aeration, soil management, uh, which is reference to more soil health and, and fertility to make sure you're producing a healthy plant. Water management, we've got to be very careful about our valuable resources we're using. Landscape design and construction, we see a lot of integrated pest management, which is how turf managers actually manage disease or insect pests that may move in uh, and start influencing the turf in a negative way. Uh, but it's also about managing people. The students that we bring through our program go on to become managers, so they're not just in charge of a property or a green space, they also are in charge of a crew of people that go out and complete tasks on a regular basis. And part and parcel with that comes strategic planning, knowledge of managing budget, budgets and business planning, and then more importantly, an overall framework of good land stewardship to make sure we're, we're responsibly managing land. So enter the Associate Diploma in Turf Grass Management Program at the University of Guelph. We're one of very few educational institutions that offer an educational program in turf grass management here in Canada. Our two-year Associate Diploma program is the only Associate Diploma that's on the main campus. It is a wonderful blend of hands-on theory and professional skills. I could probably confidently say that in a normal year, uh, we would range our program somewhere between 30 to 40 percent hands-on activity, which involves field trips, which I'll mention coming up here in a little bit, uh, as well as laboratory exercises, and then academic learning as well. We have a working semester, which I'll talk about coming up, which is an internship slash co-op opportunity. And there's usage of the Guelph Turfgrass Institute. That's where we do all of our research here. It's one of the foremost research institutes for turfgrass in Canada. One of the really important aspects of our program is that our it's very intimate. Our class sizes are small and so our students form very close bonds with each other as well as the instructors. Uh, all, every, all the instructors know our students on a first name and last name basis. It's very very close uh, and intimate and that's something that I, I really pride ourselves on. 
I wanted to give you a quick snapshot of what the course load looks like in the first year so you could get an idea of some of the topics that our students would be exposed to in that first year, first two semesters. So we have a turf industry course three, and this is our introductory course where in most cases some of the students may not have any experience in the turf grass industry. We actually hop on buses and we go out and we visit sod farms, uh, fertilizer packing facilities, uh, golf courses, both public and private, high end and middle of the pack, sort of the nine hole ma and pa type operations. It's a really fascinating course that immerses our students into the many different career opportunities, as well as helping uh, connect them with the industry. We also have an identification care of landscape plants, which is learning about herbaceous and perennial and annual species of, of horticultural plants, as well as uh, trees in arboriculture plant biology, uh, turf equipment. Uh, we do a soil course where students learn about the physiology of different soil types and the implications that has. We have a very important communication skills course, which I teach actually, uh, which helps our students learn to be better public speakers and writers, uh, which is a very important part of management. There's also a stream of courses called turf management, which is where we start introducing students into more complex principles like fertility and cultural practices and integrated pest management. We do some work with computers uh, as well as exposing our students to the more particular niche types of mathematics that will be involved for making calculations in landscape applications, as well as learning how to design landscapes, and then of course also learning how to manage the environment. Now this is definitely the hallmark of our program, which is our internship. So over the course of two years, uh, four semesters of study, right in the middle in that summer semester that, that divides the two years is where we have a, a, an internship. All of our students are required to go out, work on their resume, acquire a position, an internship at a location or an employer within the turf grass industry of their choosing. They are required to do a self-reflective exercise where they assess their own personal skills and needs for growth in terms of their own aspirations of where they would like to be. And working part and parcel with myself and the employer, we forge a internship learning contract where the students will have a very rigorous routine of responsibilities that they'll have over the course of that summer, where they get to apply all the theory and academics and hands on skills they've been learning in the classroom and then bring those into the field. And it's a very, very important part of the program, but it's also one of the most exciting parts of the program. Without question, when our students graduate, they look back and the internship is, is most definitely a keystone piece of their, their learning experience and galvanizing all of those little nuggets of wisdom that we teach in the class and then learning how they apply in the field setting. Uh, we have students that have traveled to Australia, the United Kingdom, Germany, all over the United States, across Canada, and we also have some students that may be more comfortable staying here closer to home in Ontario, and that's fine too. But the internship is a wonderful personal growth experience, and it is very often associated with the opportunity to travel the world as well. Careers, some of you might be interested in what types of careers uh, turfgrass managers, and in particular our graduates, might end up in. Uh, there's no question that the, the top pursuit for most of our students is golf course superintendent, but it doesn't just stop there. There are opportunities in property care, so property or grounds manager, hotels, large resort hotels have massive properties, a lot, a lot of which is uh, green space and gardens and tree areas, which turf grass managers from our program are qualified to be in those roles. We've got sports field managers, municipal parks managers. We've got lots of green space in our municipalities with huge teams of people uh, that go out and maintain those areas. And so many of our graduates end up in those roles as well. Uh, lawn care uh, operators, landscape contractors, sod producers, and of course the sales side of the industry, which some of our students are more inclined to go to as well. In addition to just those jobs which you would be fully qualified for after graduating, there's also an opportunity to continue your learning and use your diploma here from the University of Guelph to pursue other opportunities such as various types of consultants, uh, public facilities managers, greenhouse systems managers, 
again, landscape designers and contractors, uh, or even turf grass specialists. So if you wanted to pursue a degree in agriculture, there are many other companies in the industry that would hire you as a turf grass specialist.